Marcos. Hey, Walker. This is how we wake up with dogs. Okay, it's 6 a.m. You should get up. 6 a.m.? No, it's 12 midday. I know. <laughs> I've been up filming, working, and life is under control. Oh, good job. Hanging out with these guys, giving them food. Yeah, they've been so annoying tonight. <laughs> Well, good morning, sun! Yeah, we got sun! I slept away the whole day! You slept away the, the rain and the day, but yeah. I'm not gonna sleep anything more away, because today I am ready to get back into shape, because as you know, it's hard for us to keep the workout going when we travel like we do. And in the summer, I was so good at doing CrossFit, because we're with Henrik, he tells me what to do and it's easy. So now that we have a day, I'm gonna start working out and get back into it because if I do that well, it means I can ski more. So today we're actually gonna do a collaboration. You know, we don't do collaborations, but this one I thought was perfect because it is gonna help me get back into shape again. As you've seen, when we're in Monaco, we always work out with Yanni. She has all her apps and we do her thing. But I think a lot of the apps, you know, I don't really need a bikini body workout. So today I'm gonna get started on my Freeletics program. You guys can check out the link to the app below. And the reason that I wanted to work with this one is because all you need is two by two meters and a phone. And that is like, the phone's gonna be my Henrik. You can do it anywhere. And I realized that is gonna be the key for me to be able to keep working out. Cause when I need a gym, when we travel from Japan to LA, like you don't wanna go and find a gym. But if you can just walk out here, play with Willow and work out, I think I can actually do it. The tough thing with an app is that you say, you know, they ask you, how fit are you? And that kind of chooses what exercise you'll be doing. And I said that I was really fit. <laughs> so hopefully this app will, will agree with that. So far, what I really like about it is that it's really simple. Cause you all know that. Maz, you can't call me now, I gotta work out. He wants to talk about cars. I gotta call you back, I, I gotta work out first. Maz, okay. of course it's Maz. Of Come course on. it's him. What I'm saying is that I think it's imp important for a workout app to be easy when you're working out you want you want to understand what you're doing so basically you download the app and then you fill in a couple things and then it says start working out and it gives you a workout kind of like yanni does that's simple like you don't have to choose no, that's what i need i need to wake up grab my phone say workout today and then do whatever this thing tells me like a personal trainer exactly that's, in your phone that's what i need so now i'm gonna i'm, I'm a little afraid to be honest because i haven't worked out i've been very active and skied nine hours a day but I haven't worked out in a while, so it's gonna be an interesting one. Wish me all the best. Why aren't you not working out? Um, somebody has to do the filming part okay. of this vlog. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna get started. Start workout. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Round one of three. I realize anything that has with legs and stuff to do, I'm good. Anything abs, sit-ups, I should not fill in the I'm fit checkbox. It's funny, you work out for like three minutes and you feel happier already. Four, okay. Three, two, one. See, this is what I need. Even the breaks, you have your seconds. Otherwise, you know, 30 second breaks sends up being too many breaks. When you don't have discipline, I have discipline in everything except workouts. <laughs> and that end, I need help. I'm done. Nice job. Well, it's like 12 minutes. And you're dead. 
Yeah, but in a good way. It was actually a great start workout, except for the sit-ups. I really, I feel like I could do, if it tells me to do 30 squats and 30 sit-ups, I could do 300 squats at the same time that I did 30 sit-ups. So I gotta work on that. But yeah, now I completed one. So tomorrow I just say, hey, I wanna work out again. It gives me a new one. So it's like having Henrik around. So that's good. And then on the app, you can also connect and check out what everybody else did, like compare times and stuff. Oh, so, to your friends. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep my time secret for at least a week so I can get back into speed. And then I'll put it public and you can challenge me. Cool. So that's good. But I, I'd say that was exactly the start of the day I needed. Okay, I gotta stretch a little and then I'll be right with you and we'll go continue our day. What time is it? It's uh, testing um, the new Mavic Pro time. Finally. Because as you know, we, we've had this thing for a long time, but it was just the prototype version. So we have never got to fly the actual version. But now that we have it, we should go fly it. Of course we should. Let's see if there's uh, a difference. We need a phone. I have phones. You have two phones. I have two phones. I took your phone too. Okay, good job. No, no, there's still hope for me. There we go, locked. Okay, this is exciting. This brings back memories of when we uh, shot the uh, first movie at the Mavic, when we climbed mountains around LA for a few days. <laughs> yeah, that was a couple fun days. When we had to be like really secretive and... Shoes. What a great plan, like always. Are we allowed to say what happened after we shot the other film? Yeah, of course. All right, so... When we shot the movie, when they released the Mavic, we actually had two drones. One drone came in a completely broken package. The male dude must have just like stomped on it. So we had one drone without a camera on it, one drone with a camera. And then we wanted to get a drone-on-drone drone shot. So we're flying around like it's the last shot of the day. We're on the top of a mountain like way off. So we get our shots and like the very last shot, we fly like two kilometers out. And we're out there, I'm like, okay, Marcus, find me, tell me what direction I'm heading because I can't see anything. And then, you know, like I saw Marcus filming you. I'm like, ah, stop filming me. Like, just come and help me. And then I got impatient. So when he was coming closer to me, somehow we managed to slam the drones together. Whereas the broken drone that I was flying, so we're on the top of a mountain, seeing that drone like falling way off. So we got the drone back and then I had to hike down into the worst bushes of my life to recover the drone. Pitch black. Pitch black, like I remember that we had a hard time vlogging because we couldn't really say anything because everything was so secretive with the launch of the new drone. You're two kilometers away in the middle of nowhere and you managed to hit each other. Really That's professional. Stupid. But now we have a brand new, fully functioning, awesome drone. This will be interesting. I think you've all seen how much usually we suck when we open up a new drone. This is the only thing on the Mavic that I wish the legs were higher so you could start off like more uneven ground. Mm, yeah. I feel really drone rusty. Hold on, that's a good spot.
fly it home. It's like, that's the sound of like, stop having fun. Who knew you could land drones on the ground? I you didn't know. You taught me that you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't, but you can if you want to. Do you have more batteries? Nope. Really? Okay, well, um, conclusion then of uh, this first flight is that this one is way better than the one we had. Like it's way smoother, it doesn't get that jittery. And of course we have to look in the computer to see more details. Fantastico, I just, as, as long as you don't want to land in your hands, this one over the Phantom any day. But I like landing in the hands. <laughs> God, I w we should fly every day now. Now I got excited to fly again. Okay. But it's cold. What's cold? Like my hands are cold. It's cold out. No, it's California, come on. Like maybe not cold for a Norwegian, but for the rest of us. Okay, okay. fine. Um, car. Why do we always hike to fly the drone? We could like, why couldn't we just fly it from the car? Because it's more fun to stand on a ridge and like look at things. That's true. Uh, I say we go straight through. Why did you say straight down? Uh, ah! No. Do you have a better plan? I'm mostly worried about my new red kicks. No problem. Isn't that what you say? No, no. Maybe problem. Oh! No! Kicks! <laughs> No! 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 Oh. What did you do? I dropped your phone on the remote in the water. The phone is fine. Yes, yeah, cruise the phone. Damn it! Like, we're always optimistic, and most of the time that works out really well, and sometimes it goes like. <laughs> shit. Yeah, this goes under the it went like shit category. The question is are you gonna turn back? Of course I'm not gonna turn back. Perfecto. Sometimes I wish I was born to be a smarter human being, so I took normal decisions. But then again, you guys probably wouldn't be watching if we were normal and absolutely boring. But this is not us trying to do something for the vlog, this is like... Us. This is just us being us being stupid. <laughs> I will, however, take full responsibility for this terrible way out. This should be okay, right? Yeah, of course. We have had some water problems with drones before. Right? That turned out fine. Oh, if we showed you guys all the stupid stuff we actually do. <laughs> no, imagine if we choose not to show something, then just think about how stupid it probably is. We've had a couple of those. Hey, welcome home. What's up? Hi. The snowboarder. Yeah. How was it? Absolutely unbelievable. So, where's the apologies to the viewers that missed you in Japan? I know, I'm sorry guys. Yeah. I had fresh tracks I had to get. I was trying to compete with you guys in Japan, but it wasn't really the same. Yeah. I actually need help. I need one of you guys to drive me five minutes away to my buddy's house to pick up my old Harley that I sold to him that I'm using for a photo shoot tomorrow. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> I say that's pretty cool. It's loud. I'm telling you, all I can see is, is uh, Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> what you got? I am coming home with delivery. Two times. The sixth pizza, oh my one God. of your regular, and then I got you one of my favorites as well. Okay. And then, what kind of fr a friend would I be if I didn't bring you some frozen joke? Oh, yes. Joke. Yo yogurt. Make fun of our Scandinavian <laughs> pronunciation. Thank you. Good, right? Awesome. So now you have food for like the next three days. Thanks. So I think since we're gonna just crush this and um, sleep some more, I mean, I got up early, so. He's probably not. He, he woke up at noon today. That's fairly normal, isn't it? <laughs> You're always up late and you sleep. You sleep late. Yeah, like, yeah. I went you have to a good bed reason. At, I went to bed at like five, so. Okay, yeah. So I'm um, not good. Yes. yes. Dave, do you want to end the vlog today? Do I want to end the vlog? the spot. What do we do? Uh, say say goodbye to uh, these guys. Goodbye to you guys. <laughs> he is clearly not. Hey, awesome look at how Swedish he is. <laughs> I'm very Husqvarna. Swedish. Husqvarna. Look. Husqvarna. Husqvarna. Swedish. Who's Okay. You guys, you we guys gotta show him the vlog. He doesn't know what's up. He doesn't know anything. 
Ciao. Ciao. Cheers. Stop it, man. <laughs>